welcome back. We have been highlighting many events going on to celebrate the Lunar New Year. One of the most enjoyable and educational is the event put on by the Chinese Historical Society of America, which celebrates the Year of the Ram this coming Saturday. With me to talk about the celebration is Lenora Lee, the program's associate, and CHSA board member Danielle Lam. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you. Yeah. Lenora, give us uh, an overview. I, I like, I'm a fan of the museum, but for people who don't know that much about it, give us a quick overview about the museum itself. Sure. The Chinese Historical Society of America was founded in 1962 and then incorporated as a nonprofit organization in 1963. And in 2001, we moved into our current location, which is a former YWCA in, in San Francisco Chinatown, and have had our museum there since 2001. What does it try to do? What are you trying to uh, exhibit? What is it that you're trying to get across to the community in what you display? Sure. Well, our main permanent exhibit features the history of the Chinese in the United States. So it talks about uh, and details the history from the mid-1800s until now. Oakland's a perfect place to be, huh? <laughs> uh, give us an idea here in terms of, um, or San Francisco, uh, give us an idea here in terms of the uh, celebration that's going to be going on for the Lunar New Year. Right, so um, we're asking everyone to come celebrate uh, the Year of the Ram with us at the Chinese Historical Society. So we're hosting a whole slate of speakers and events and opening new exhibits at the museum on March 7th, which is the same day as the uh, Chinese New Year Parade in Chinatown. Right. So if you're going to be down there already, come up to 965 Clay Street and check out some of our programs. Um, one of them is Frank Wong, who was actually featured in the Chronicle last fall about his beautiful um, miniature artwork. So he recreates um, these miniature like uh, exhibits from his memories. So like a um, an herb store or a um, SRO unit. Mm -hmm. And so he'll be doing a talk about his work there. Uh, having the parade at the same time will make it a good convenient day for everybody, huh? Yes, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an idea here in terms of uh, some of the other exhibits that you have going on there. I've been hearing a lot about some of the exhibits that are coming up in March and April. Uh, can we talk a little bit about those? Yes, so one of the exhibits that are opening, is opening that day, is called The Forgotten Art of Lion Dance Puzzles. Uh, CHSA has been working with Corey Chan and Kaylin Martial Arts for several years now, and Corey is part of a group that um, features lion dance and dragon dance, and Corey himself is an incredible historian. So he's been putting together a book that focuses on lion dance puzzles. So he will use, uh, he will actually, um, incorporate six or seven different puzzles and give a background on the history, its applications, its uses, uh, along with discussing why this art form is a lost art form. It's uh, important to kind of understand the history to really appreciate the Lunar New Year, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Because mm -hmm. we see a lot of the celebration going on here and the things that people see, but I'm not sure people always understand what they're saying, huh? Yeah. Does the museum try to maybe try to be like an educational experience around the Lunar New Year time? Oh, definitely. I mean, the museum hosts educational tours in the neighborhoods. We go to um, school sites and teach grade school students about Asian Americans um, and our history. And, um, you know, being in San Francisco, where we have such a high population of Asian Americans, it's really important to understand our roots and where we came from and how we fit in the community. Now, you mentioned that there was another uh, exhibit coming in April as well. Mm -hmm. we talk about what, what's, the, what's that one? Yes, um, it's actually opening up um, sooner in March. It's oh. called um, From Manchu to China Chic the evolution of the qi pao, or in Cantonese we call it the chung som. And it's just a uh, traditional Chinese garment dress that uh, women wear. So we have an exhibit that has um, some of the qi pao's in the early eras to now the modern interpretation of the qi pao. Is there anything that people should know in terms of if they're going to attend the uh, celebration? Sure. Um, it's our activities start at noon with a dragon dance, and immediately following that, Corey Chan will give a presentation about his exhibit, The Forgotten Art of Line Dance Puzzles. And then we will have Frank Wong's presentation at 1. Um, and then at 2 o'clock, we'll have a donor wall unveiling that um, celebrates the generosity of our donors. Very mm -hmm. good. Oakland is a great place to see it, but San Francisco's <laughs> just even as good, better. even better. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here and telling us about that event. Good luck.
Thank, Thank you. you. And again, the Chinese Historical Museum of America celebrates the Year of the Ram on Saturday, March 7th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the CHSA Museum on 965 Clay Street in San Francisco. Check it out before you go to the parade. Now, you heard a little bit about dragon lion dancing. Now, see some for yourself when we present a performance by the Far East Dragon Lion Dance Association here in our studio coming up next. So don't miss it.